My name's Alan Hart and today we're going to do a video on underfloor heating. This is a screed, screed and staple system. So what we've got, we've got on this particular job we've got them, um, it's like breeze block with beams in. And then we've got some visqueen that's been put down, like a damp proof. And then it's got 150 millimetre king span as insulation. And then on top of that, there's another um, visqueen barrier. And then we're gonna connect the underfloor heating onto that as well. This system is a beneath heat system, and it's a staple system. And this is the build up of the floor. So you've got your base, that could be concrete. In this particular case, we've got them beams that's got um, breeze blocks in. I can't remember what they're called. And then we've got as insulation, in between that insulation there, we've got a visqueen barrier. And then on top of this insulation here, because we're gonna have a li liquid screed, we've also got another barrier there. And then round the outside, we've got this edging. And if we have a look in the book here, this edge insulation here, this is for heat loss and expansion. This is a job um, Ben has kindly invited us here to have a look at today from BMA Plumbing and Heating in Halifax. Um, so what we'll do now, we'll go over to we'll go over to Ben, and he can tell us what he's doing. Just got find Ben. So this is beneath heat system that's getting used on this job. What are you doing here, then, Ben? I'm just putting the edge insulation around. So the aim of this is just to get as much heat transfer up from the floor into the rooms rather than get lost into the walls. So we just put the edge insulation around here. It's about as deep as what the screen's going to be. So in theory it should uh, stop any heat loss into the walls, into the cavities, down, uh, down and under the floor. And what's the reasoning for this job? Why, why do they want underfloor heating? They just, um, they just think it's more efficient for the property. The high ceilings and stuff, they want to be able to sit on the floor, have nice, nice and warm toast at lower levels. So uh, we find it more and more popular now. A lot of people are going for underfloor heating rather than the traditional radiators, especially on the ground floor. Upstairs we're having traditional radiators which is fine, uh, but downstairs here, there's gone for the underfloor heating. It worked out quite quite good for them, so uh, that's what they decided to do. When you order the underfloor heating, beneath heat, provide a plan, so you know where all your centers go, shows you where all your manifold goes, boiler, etc., all in your plan to make it nice and easy. All your flow rates. So they're just starting the first part of the first loop now. And they're just stapling it down with a staple gun. Just starting to put the first part of the loop in now for the underfloor heating. The manifold is just in here. I've just got a decoiler. That. revert back to the drawing now we can see the manifold shows 150 millimeter centers the manifold's actually here and then it's the pipe works going down there and this is this first loop there going round I'm just putting them loops in now and them loops are 150 millimeter centers That's the first loop now completed. And then that goes back to Ben in here, to where manifold's going, which is there. And one of them is your flow, and one of them is the return. And then if we go back to the drawing, right Dave? Hi mate, how are we doing? Go back to his drawing here. We can see there that it shows us that we've got the first five loops there, and then they go back to the manifold over there. And then now we'll start again with another loop and it'll go around here again. They've put the second loop in now, which were nine loops. And then just making sure all plastic keeps underneath. 
and that's going to then go back to this manifold again in there. And Dave's just in here, put it manifold. So this is the end of the third loop now. And Ben's just taking that back to the manifold again. And Dave's just looking at... Oh, whoa. <laughs> Dave's just looking at... Um, what's that called? Drawing. Drawing, that's oh, yeah, it. Drawing. I couldn't think then. Working out the next uh, fourth and fifth loop. So we're now going to be on the second coil of 240 meters. <laughs> They're doing a good job here, look. So ben, Ben's just been putting manifold on here, so, connecting all the pipes into it. Just connecting one of the other loops up now onto the manifold. All the circuits are in now and they're all to the drawing roughly and then if we go in here this is all done as well just finishing off in here so what's left to do that now ben so because there's no water on in the property we have to get a hose pipe from the neighboring property uh, we're going to flush each of the systems out so we need that actuator off, flushing out the system, make sure it's all full, getting the debris out of the system. Following that, we'll get a hydraulic pressure tester, we'll test it up to 5 bar. Leave it probably for a couple of hours just to make sure there's no leaks. After that, we'll uh, depressurise to 3 bar, leave the 3 bar in the system until the screening's been done. After that, we will, uh, well, we've got to allow the screening to go for maybe a month or so, and then we will... Uh, We'll gradually heat up the system, uh, checking it when the boiler and the gas gets fitted into the property. Special thanks to BMA Plumbing and Heating today for letting us, for allowing us to go and work with them and, and do this job. If you've got any questions, please ask them, um, ask them in the comments below. If you want to know how to wire this system, then there's some other videos as well in this section. If you, if you click below somewhere, I'll add them below shortly, um, there'll be some different ones. And if you go into, we have a section for underfloor heating and over time, over time I'm going to try and build that up. Um, yeah. Yeah, as I say, if you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.